Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs and the Ohio State Buckeyes in game one of this Thursday doubleheader of college hockey on ESPN2. The season began with 60 Division I teams, 16 made the NCAA tournament, and four remain. A champion will be crowned Saturday night on ESPN. John Butchergoss and Barry Melrose, so happy to be with you from the state of hockey, Minnesota. Barry's 14th, Frozen Four, my sixth, and Barry, game one, the Ohio State Buckeyes looking for the first national championship in hockey in school history. They're relying on some big bodies. Big injury to Matthew Weiss, so every center had to move up one line, but they have two bodies you like, big, big, burly guys. Two bodies that I love. These guys are both drafted by NHL team. Wazinski right here, you see his speed. He takes a puck wide, puck ends up in the net. Right here, he's following the play, but at the precise moment to jump into the play does he gets a goal there beating these man to the front of the net he's going to do that and must do that if Ohio State has a chance of winning Dakota Joshua big guy 6'3 200 pounds uh, he loves life he was great to talk to one of the best uh, personalities we've seen in this tournament he must have a big game because he's got all the weapons you see size strength skating ability these two guys are the best players on Ohio State I think they must have out there for Ohio State Ronnie Hine Christian Lampasso and Kevin Miller but here come the Buckeyes Drop pass, shot, saved by Romeo. The puck is free, it's loose, back in. Can't quite get it in there, it was number six, Louis Rail had a great chance. That's the defenseman joined in the rush right there, had a wide open net, and couldn't put it in the back of the net. Broken stick for the Buckeyes. Rail again, scores! Third time's a charm for Louis Rail. Bulldogs strike first. That's two defensemen joining together and making a goal up in front of the net. Matt Anderson, defenseman number 21, gets it on his stick. And he makes a beautiful cross-ice pass. Everybody thought it was going at the net. Watch it coming back here. Ends up going to Anderson. Now he's going to go across the rail. Rail has a wide open six by four. He almost took too long. He let the goaltender Romeo almost come across and make a spectacular save. But that's a defenseman going to another defenseman as if he's a four. has it. The night, Yops will try to get there. There he is, number 26, out there with Lazinski. Number nine, taken away. As Barry mentioned, there are five 19 year old defensemen for Duluth. Shot! Shepard never saw that. He was screened, but he went wide. Matt Miller can't get it. Here come the button. Thomas is a breakaway to make it 2 0. He does! I told you Duluth is winning everything right now. They're winning draws, they're winning races, they're hungrier for the puck. The band's more fired up, they're ready to go. They're much more in time. Uh, the girls are all prettier right now <laughs> on that team. Everything's going the loose way. Ohio State's got to settle this down right now. You can't fall any farther behind. Just the puck gets turned over right at the blue line of Cardinal Sin. You can't lose the puck right there. You got to cycle it down low. And Thomas, who John and I were talking about just before the game started, about how quietly he's put together a heck of a year, comes in. Beautiful goal, spreads the legs of the goal. Patient, looking for that good scoring opportunity. He sauces it to Eggy. Yops. Sauces to Eggy, his stick breaks in half. Not out. Buckeyes have it. Lisinski, watch out. He can shoot. Score! Buckeyes back in it. John, I think Kuhlman thought the puck was going out because he left the scrum and, and was headed towards the bench. Wazinski's well, got that big shot, that big release like we talked about. He got in his wheelhouse as he hit the goaltender with the puck. The goaltender, Shepard, wasn't able to make the save. There's the broken stick. Now watch Kuhlman, number 20. Right there, he just keeps skating. He thinks the puck is out, and it is, and it goes to Wazinski's stick. And he comes with that wicked wrist shot off the goaltender. Shepard's trying to find it. He's looking to the left. Oh, like the player hit something in front. They can't shoot the puck because that's all they can do. Joshua's either got to shoot it forward or it's got to go straight back to uh, Yox. That's the only two things that can work. Buckeyes trying to force overtime. It's a big face off. They want to make sure they get it right. Shot. Good job by number 19, Justin Richards, to play street hockey goalie. And it is over. It's now over. The Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs will play for the national championship on Saturday night.
John, the game's won in the first period, the first minute and a half of the, the first period. It could easily have been four or five nothing. They scored the two, played a great defensive game after that, only allowed 20 shots to a very talented Ohio State team. For the third time in eight years, they'll play for a national championship, and for the second year in a row, they lost to Denver last year in Chicago, and of course, they won the national championship in this very rink the last time the Frozen Four was held here in St. Paul 